What did I think after the first day of class? I uh, was in utter bewilderment and confusion. My mind was blown. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh crap, what did I just sign myself <laughs> up for? <laughs> when it comes to history, it is not my favorite subject at all. I honestly cannot think of a more boring subject than history. I figure it's in the past, let's let it stay there. But I was excited to learn because I thought that like from the first day, I, I thought that it was going to be something really, a really interesting topic and a really interesting approach to learning the history of civilization. I think what I found most valuable in this class is that it's teaching me how to, how to pursue lifelong learning. But I stayed because I thought it would challenge me, that it was different than anything I'd ever had before and would push me in a way that I don't feel another class could. But after the first day of class, it got me really, really excited because it engaged digital civilization and digital culture and history. It brought them together. It's the sort of thing that should be attractive to any university student. Welcome to Digital Civilization. In this revolutionary class, students explored historical content from the Renaissance through the 21st century. They focused on events, people, and themes from these time periods in Western civilization. Simultaneously, students learned concepts about modern digital culture and computing, and drew analogies between past, present, and the future. Students were expected to take control of their own learning through consuming information, creating and expanding using that information, and connecting with others around them. They used emerging media and communication tools, as well as kept a log of their learning on a personal blog. With the final goal of students learning from each other and others around them. Welcome to Digital Civilization, reinventing the way we learn. I'm hoping students uh, develop a love of history that maybe they might not have had before, now that they can see how relevant it is to them. And I'm hoping students can take away a little bit of an understanding of what computer science is all about, as well as um, uh, some basic literacy and also maybe even mastery in some of the digital uh, tools that we've been using. We've always wanted to have uh, that kind of two-fold outcome for the class. Uh, that students appreciate the past because of the present and vice versa because they really are a lens on one another. If the students come away with a, a good sense of how the past is relevant to the present and, and vice versa, then I think we, are, we will have succeeded. How is this different from the normal history class that you've taken? Um, how is it the same is a better question. Well, the history class, <clears throat> you go through history and that's, that's the focus. Usually history is like thought of as being like the most archaic, I don't know, like structured, um, non-innovative like subject discipline. It's just like you read books. In this one, I feel like the focus has been more on the principles and how we can um, use those principles to better understand our digital culture today. Oh, it's completely different because it connects everything to today. History, I guess by definition, is what happened in the past. But when you take history and you engage it to the cultural revolution of today, to digital concepts that we use today, to reasons why things are happening today, suddenly that makes a history class more applicable to today. It's very different. Um, we, do, we do a lot of analogies, um, for example, the the renaissance of the 1400s compared with the digital renaissance today and we're always drawing comparisons between today's world and the world of the past so there's there's a lot of focus actually on the way that our lives work now as opposed to just what happened in the past I think the biggest difference for me is that it makes so many connections that it's not just a, a timeline class you know and then this happened and then this happened it's a connection class it's this happened and then this happened over here and that leapfrogged over there and now we see it on the web. You know, it, it really teaches me in this class that 
I mean, I talk about this class in my Shakespeare class, and I talk about my genetics class on my blog post for this class. I mean, everything's really all connected, and that makes this more than a history class for me. Yeah, we are very much using a different pedagogy where we're trusting the students to make use of the ample tools and uh, sets of information that are at hand. The traditional learning sequence for a student, go to class, get the assignment, read the book, do your assignment, turn it in, repeat. As it used to be, at least in my mind, that the traditional way of doing things is the teacher has this secret information that he's going to bestow upon you as long as you do the assignments that he has given to you and that is the information that you need to have in this course and there you go. That is how, that's how learning is. You go to a university because they have this information. In this class there are so many, like, there are so many starting points. There are so many different directions you can go. I felt like I was, I had to relearn how to learn. But in this class the teachers, I would say, contribute about 50% of the material that I have learned because I've learned so much by going and doing my own studies, by going and reading my own books, by going and reading other students' blogs and so it's really taught me that I have power in learning. I can teach myself and I don't have to rely on somebody else to teach me. Yes, it's a lot easier that way but it's not as effective because I will not always have somebody holding my hand as I'm going through the learning process. In this class is like completely breaking the mold, like the norms and the um, like the traditional model of doing education in this class has really expanded the model of self-directed learning which I think is really neat. That it's not like okay the professor says read pages this to this or read this chapter. It's more like okay here's the topic you learn what you can about it. And I think that's really neat. I think the most useful thing that I have learned is that students have power in learning. In life in general, the most successful people have a vision. The most successful companies have a vision and get their employees to buy into that vision. And so this class is really, I, I think the professors had a vision. I no longer just have the thing like, oh, let me just bank information into myself so I can be more valuable. I'm like, I don't see learning as that anymore. It's changed my vision of learning. It's more like, let me learn something so I can share it with people and then in turn learn something from them. This class has really revolutionized the way I thought about learning. I've learned to think about learning as, as part of a discourse and not as part and not as an isolated act because knowledge in a vacuum really does no good. I am going to change the way that I manage my education. I by connecting a lot more with other people instead of just doing my own research, reading books alone in the library, I'm going to try and draw upon the pool of knowledge that's available online. And so I think I'm going to work more on connecting my education instead of just reading books alone.